एवरीवन लेट अस डिस्कस क्राइटेरिया ऑफ रिमाल इंटीग्रेबिलिटी पार्ट टू दैट मीन्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द कॉन्वर्स पार्ट ऑफ दिस थेरम इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन द फर्स्ट पार्ट सीन अ कॉन्वर्स पार्ट द वी हैव दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन एफ डिफाइंस फ्रॉम क्लोज इंटरवल ए बी टू आर इज अ बाउंडेड फंक्शन एंड वी हैव फॉर एवरी एप्सुलॉन ग्रेटर दैन जीरो देर एक्जिस्ट अ पार्टीशन पी एप्सुलॉन ऑफ क्लोज इंटरवल ए बी सच दैट अपर सम माइनस लोअर सम इज लेस दैन एप्सुलॉन and simply we have to prove that function is riemann integrable let us start to prove first of all i will write a given information we have let me write we have for every epsilon greater than 0 there exist a partition there exist a partition p epsilon such that okay such that let me write such that u p epsilon f minus l p epsilon f is less than epsilon so this thing we have right yes i will call it as 1 and what we have to prove we have to prove that function is riemann integrable on closed interval ab that thing also i will mention here to prove that f is riemann integrable okay let me mention integrable on closed interval ab right that means what we have to prove exactly when we say the function is riemann integrable if upper integral is equal to lower integral we say the function is riemann integrable that means simply we have to prove let me mention that is to prove that actual integral of f is equal to upper integral getting of f is equal to lower integral of f so for simplicity i will use this symbols okay that is to prove that let me mention i i means actual integral i u means upper integral and i l means lower integral so we have to prove this one right see now what will i do i will start with a definition of upper integral will you tell me what is uh, definition of upper integral let me mention here we know that do you know so the definition of upper integral is infimum of u p f okay i have written in short actually we supposed to write p is a partition of closed interval ab but simply i wrote infimum of upf that what it means that means for different different partitions we have different upper sums what will be the lowest value of upper sum that is nothing but upper integral okay lowest value smallest value that is nothing but upper integral that means if you take any arbitrary upper integral definitely uh, upper uh, uh, sorry if you take any arbitrary upper sum upper integral will be less than or equal to that so therefore what can i write therefore upper integral is less than or equal to u p epsilon f this is 2 okay see u p p epsilon we have so this is upper integral is infimum of all upper sums so if you take any arbitrary upper sum definitely it is less than or equal to that let us go for the next i will go for lower integral so now lower integral do you know the lower integral definition is supremum of lpf that means whatever the lower sums possible lower sums we have the supremum the maximum value will be lower integral getting so that means if you take any arbitrary lower sum obviously it is less than or equal to lower integral so therefore what can we write lower integral is greater than or equal to this lower sum with partition p epsilon right so what will i do i will multiply both sides by minus 1 so minus i l less than or equal to minus l p epsilon f right see when you multiply by any negative number we need to change any inequ that inequality so i did the same i will call it as 3 so see what shall we do we will add 3 and 2 and 3 adding 2 and 3 what will happen so here upper integral right so it has already minus sign so that's why i'm writing minus sign there same inequality will be maintained and u p epsilon f minus l p epsilon f actually we are adding but it is already has minus sign so that's why we'll have like this but see right hand side have you seen it anywhere yes it is in equation uh, inequality 1 we have uh, already got and it is less than epsilon so we can mention here this is less than epsilon from 1 from 1 so what we get we get upper integral minus lower integral is less than epsilon let me write that thing so make a screenshot of it first so therefore we get i u minus i l is less than epsilon that means upper integral minus lower integral 
is less than epsilon and it is true for every epsilon greater than 0. Get it? What is meaning of epsilon? Epsilon means a very small positive real number. We are saying this left hand side is less than or equal to every small positive real number. That means our left hand side is either 0 or negative. This, these are only two possibilities we have. So therefore, what can we write? Upper integral minus lower integral is less than or equal to 0, either negative or 0, since it is less than every positive real number. So what will I do? I'm going to shift I L on that side. So therefore, I U less than or equal to I L. This is, uh, I will say star. Okay. See, but actually upper integral is always greater than or equal to lower integral. Either both of them are equal or they will hold this inequality. Upper integral will be greater than or equal to lower integral. So let me mention that thing. But upper integral is greater than or equal to lower integral star. So, what will be our conclusion from star and double star? From star and double star. See, in star we are saying left hand side is less than or equal to right hand side. And in double star we are saying left hand side is greater than or equal to right hand side. So, what is the common part? So here equality is there. Here is also equality. So, the common part is equality. So, the only possibility is both of them are equal. So, therefore, upper integral is equal to, let me mention, is equal to lower integral. What it means? Yes, function is Riemann integrable. So when we say the function is Riemann integrable, if upper integral is equal to lower integral and that thing we have here. So therefore, therefore, f is r integrable. That means Riemann integrable on closed interval a b. So in this way, we prove this part. Make a screenshot of it. Then we will stop. Thank you. Bye bye.